Hey guys, welcome back to the Booze News. Clint here. Uh, Jake. Another episode of Booze News. Yeah. Good Love to see you. Glad to have you. We're really glad that you're seeing us. Cut. Cut. We're going to be talking about, while well, we're drinking, Keystone Whiskey. Not to be confused with Keystone Light. No affiliation. No. Mm -hmm. And we've got three news stories for you. One of them. Huh? Oh, news! We got news too, guys. We don't have news. We have just news. said that. Shut up. We've got some pirate love affair. Ghost pirate love affairs. Ghost pirate love affairs. Monkeys. Monkeys and tanks. Yes. We got tanks in the news. We got tanks. Stand by. So first up, we got a pirate. Love affair, and you've got this woman named Amanda. She had five kids, by the way. Okay, do you know any like cool Amandas? I don't know. I don't know one Amanda that's cool. <laughs> no. We just lost twenty thousand subscribers. <laughs> well, all the Amandas are like. A <laughs> if you're a cool Amanda, just go make ahead and sure click that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> just forget what we said. <laughs> this woman, uh huh, from Ireland, decides that yeah. she is in love with a. Ghost pirate. For 300 years, this guy has been dead. <laughs> so, how did they meet? Well, they met. Wait, let me guess. Hold on, I know this. Yeah. Match.com. <laughs> no. They met. He appeared at her bedside. An apparition. She said, I don't want to be casual with this. We need to commit. So she said, We need to get married. So she married the ghost. On okay. international waters because they can't get married on land. Why not? Why can't they? Well, Ireland won't allow you to marry a, a fictional ghost. Right. Well, it's not fictional to her. How could she know that she's attracted to this ghost if she's got like she ever seen this ghost? Like. Well, she says the ghost looks a lot like Jack Sparrow, from Captain Jack Sparrow. From yeah. Pirates of the yeah. Caribbean. Yes. Is so we're talking about now. Yeah. Well, this is the levels we're going to. So she she married him. But get this, this is not some young woman. She is a mother of five. Five kids. So imagine being one of those kids. That's, dev that's <laughs> devastating. That's <laughs> devastating. So you have to tell your college roommates, yeah, my mom married Jack Sparrow, the ghost of Jack Sparrow. Right. Like, and it's been a f***ing long week for me. Yeah. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm not going to make it to science class. My mom married Jack Sparrow's ghost. I had a wedding to attend on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Holy smoke. Okay. But what do you bring to that wedding? So a cutlass. <laughs> some rum, a lot of rum. The guy who brings the parrot is the one who like, oh, that guy brought, Johnny brought a fucking parrot. What an asshole that makes all our kids look like <laughs> She said, people ask, okay, so that's like a, one of the first questions I would ask. Like, mm. well, how would you like, mm -hmm. Do the deed. Yeah, do the deed. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, I feel it. She can feel it. She can feel the ghost pirate getting the booty. The <laughs> yar, yar, yar. <laughs> you know? But who are we to say that this ghost isn't real? To I'm me. me, and I'm saying that it's not real. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of people, including myself, mm -hmm. believe that ghosts, you believe in ghosts. I said they could be real. You I believe that she married this ghost? Bro. You f believe that yes. she married this ghost? Bro. Okay, well, hey guys, welcome to Booze News, where we have one guy who's intelligent and one. <laughs> okay, touche. Anyways, moving on. What we got up next? What's what's next in the news? Okay, now, who knows? What have you seen? Okay, who knows what a monkey is? Raise your hand. What the <laughs> question is that? Okay, well, Chris Brown had a monkey. Chris Brown? Chris Brown, the singer. Did he beat the monkey? No. Whoa. That's the news story. Chris Brown beats a monkey. No, he didn't beat a monkey. He had to actually turn over a pet monkey. Because he was beating it. Well, no, he didn't have a permit. To beat the monkey? Gosh dang it. He doesn't beat, he never beat anything. Besides his fresh beats. <laughs> fresh beats? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good friend. Well, his mother mm. said, you need to get a monkey. His mother told him this? No. Why did you say that then? <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever been drinking? Have daughter. you ever been drinking? I've been boozing. Guys, welcome to Booze News. This guy's been boozing. Welcome. So Chris Brown got a monkey taken away. Mm. Illegal. Illegal monkey. Jail time. Jail time. He could face up to six months in prison. That's jail or happen. jail. Yeah. Finally, in the news. Northern Russia, a man. Does a little boozing. We all like to booze a little bit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Here. Yep. Yep. Cheers. 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 He boozed and he cruised. 
<laughs> he crept out. Oh, that's a, don't ever drink and drive, guys. Don't ever, drink, don't ever drink, drink and drive. He stole a tank, an APC to be exact. Okay, how, first off, how does that even happen? Um, he found one. He knew how to drive it. I don't know. I don't know. He got into it. But it's Russia, so everybody probably knows how to drive a tank. And then, exactly. Yeah. And then he said to himself, you know what this tank needs? It needs more boobs. So he went to the grocery store, the convenience store, I don't know what you call it in Russia. He didn't uh, just, but he didn't just go to it. He drove into it. Like he went through it. With the tank. With the tank. Into the front door. First he crushed a car. Yeah, destroyed somebody's car. Hopped out, took one bottle of wine and hit for his tank. His tank. One bottle of wine. Bottle of Listen, wine. if I crash in the liquor store with a tank, I'm taking on, no one's gonna sit there and tell me like, hey, listen, like you guys, like you gotta pay for this. No, I have a tank. You're not gonna tell me that I can't take all the but I'm taking all the booze okay. at that point. Where like was this at night or were there like people? This around? was in the middle of the night, but apparently there's a lot of observers and Russia being what it is, Russia being Russia, they didn't seem too concerned. Apparently, business as usual in Russia. This is apparently pretty common. Unfazed. Alright guys, well that's been the news. So how was this booze? This booze, okay, for a whiskey, mm. a small batch. You can see here, it's batch number 15. Uh, the taste were supposed to be a two-row malt, uh, a little bit of maple syrup, oak, vanilla, citrus spice, honey, I mean, I think they were just picking words to put I'm on not it. smelling any of that in there. No, I think it, it pretty much tastes like whiskey, but it's a smooth whiskey. It's a good one. I hate whiskey. Hate it. But I this, as whiskeys go, enjoy it. Perfecto. Yes, this is a very smooth one. It's not going to burn your throat. So find it, buy it, drink it. It's called Keystone Whiskey. From Amanatawani, probably mispronouncing that, still works. Yeah. Well, guys, this is with <laughs> Booze and News. Uh, we, we're glad to have you here. Yes. And work. make sure to check us out here in a couple days again when we post a new video on Booze and News. Make sure to check the links down below. Like and subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, hashtags, so on and so forth. Yes, you gotta find us and like us and subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Because we got new content and new news stories and new booze. All the time. Every day. <laughs> booze and news! Booze and news. We don't have it every day. <laughs> I lied to them. <laughs>